Put it in it. A lot going on in the world. I just had a yogurt, yogurt, yogurt. They're never as good as you, you, you. Ex- I, I, I like McDonald's yogurt, and I'll say it on tape, and I'm recording this because it's fake, and that's what I grew up with. And uh, I remember when the parfaits came out, and it was like just a fancy way of saying sweet ass cancer yogurt, and uh, you thought you were doing something special. They that that's their way of describe of uh, disguising um, shit. You put a fancy word on it, and <laughs> it's a uh, hey. Here's this parfait. You you fucking idiot. It's a bunch of bunch of chemicals, and uh, so I try to eat some yogurt. But real yogurt tastes like shit too. Nobody nobody's happy to eat real yogurt. It 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 it, it uh you got you got to mask it with fruit. And uh, and nuts and, and and bullshit, and then uh, call yourself doing something healthy. But I had a, a chobani, which makes you sound extra bougie. You have a little chobani and a, a, a yogurt. I didn't even have anything, but I just had a vanilla chobani, and uh, I just like saying chobani. And uh, <laughs> and and I ate that today, trying to to uh, cut a little fat and tone up for the sun. Uh, when the sun comes back, it was, it was an alright day. Today is warm and rainy, but uh, I like warm rain. It was cool. I uh, reading through all the the terrorist rebuttals, the terrorists from uh, the guy that uh, tried to blow up Port Authority, and uh, the weird thing uh, was he couldn't find a place to to detonate his bomb, and. <laughs> he was walking past Christmas signs and he thought that was a sign that said that was a good place to blow something up the spirit of Christmas which is fucking weird who, who what, what, what God was talking to him what God Allah said yeah fuck Christmas blow that shit up and uh, he just wound up blowing himself up he didn't blow anybody up you, you, you blew yourself up and you blew a hole in your stomach, and you didn't even die. So you're an idiot. And uh, good luck to you, because I hope you're just getting clowned on by all your terrorist buddies, wherever hole they're gonna put you in. That's that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Um, I don't even know. I don't even know if I know anybody that knows how to make a bomb. You know. Which is which is weird how much how ridiculous this whole situation is. I know different other people, but I, I don't know any uh, any any guys that'll be like, hey, you you want to strap this to your body uh, for this cause so you can get a bunch of virgins and uh, that's bananas to me. And and, and uh, all right, I don't even I, I, ugh, I don't even want to talk about that. That's that's really silly. That you would do that. I uh, I don't even know. Ugh. Still eating pretzels. Had some pretzels today. I'm really on this pretzel kick. I love pretzels right now. I feel like a little old lady just eating pretzels. I can't get enough of them. And, and so I need something to snack on because now I'm starting to put on this muscle. And I just grab everything I got to eat. And, uh, and it's and pretzels are close. I don't care what you think. I like pretzels. So go fuck yourself. Um, hopefully we'll get this, this thing started. What else is going on in the world? Some of this I got stood up again. That's the hardest part about doing this little podcast. And we started a new podcast. If anybody cares, uh, it's called the League of Safe Black Guys. That we started yesterday. I think I had um, Dwayne Murphy on, Bill Petit, uh, Joe King, and Alex Yarmelson. It was we had a good little talk. Uh, so that's a, that's a spinoff. I'm just gonna keep spinning off podcasts. That's that's it. Pod spin it off, and uh, hopefully we'll get the vlog out. The uh, fitness vlog should be out shortly. And you guys can check that out. 
you know, talking like this. You actually, we have listeners in Italy, so if they listen, that'll be dope. Uh, uh, I don't know who's listening in Italy, but they just popped on board. It, when I look on the map on who's listening, it's like people in Ireland. Who the fuck are they? But big shout out to them. Somebody in Alaska. Uh, somebody in Norway. I don't know. I don't. I don't know who these people are. But somebody's listening to my voice in uh, Norway, in uh, Alaska. Uh, didn't get Canada. I, w- I want to get Canada. I just want Canada to light up somewhere. Uh, just different country. I want to get all seven continents. Africa. I don't know who wants to listen in Africa, but big. We're gonna we're gonna get Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Which is crazy. Um, that's it. That's, that's what we're gonna do. That's the goal to uh, to to build this thing up. Is people's army of uh, of listeners. I, I like people's army. I, I it's it's dope. So if you want to join the army, uh, in 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 listen, share this, like it. Uh, comment, tell me what you want to talk about, what you want to hear, what you want to see, what you want us to do. Uh, you want me to shut the fuck up and just stop doing this? Well, that's probably not going to happen because uh, I like doing shit. Um, and then we'll go from there. Uh, I uh, had this thing that I wanted to... Uh, so I, I, I uh, if you know, I, I also personal train. So uh, I personal train daytime, and uh, I'll start posting some more fitness stuff. I'm trying, I'm trying to figure out what angle to um, attack the fitness portion of the website. So uh, if you got any suggestions, uh, there's a lot of big fitness people out there, and I, I just want to get in the game. I did, my two goals of this year were. were to uh, of course comedy and put put my mark on fitness somehow um, and somehow this this podcast came along but uh, which intertwines with with comedy but fitness and comedy are my loves so I love fitness and I love comedy and I uh, I I was not 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 that I wasn't serious about fitness, but yeah, you, you, you have setbacks. You have setbacks that are setups, and uh, you go different ways that re- lead you right in where you need to be. So now uh, I, I'm going full throttle with this fitness thing. My my body's looking pretty pretty tight, and I'm gonna start. I don't, I don't want to be the, the selfie fitness guy posting pictures, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna post the journey. I'm gonna post the journey, hopefully. And uh, if you you're inspired by the journey and and where I go with it, cool. If not, then uh, you're 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 probably not that important to me. How about that? Um, and uh, who cares what you think if you're not thinking positive shit? So, we'll, we'll do that. So, it's all about building dope shit. I like building dope shit, creating dope shit, uh, no matter what the setback or the, you know, and we, uh, we, we like those setups. We like those setups. And we eat those up like, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> so, uh, that's, that's that. If, uh, you got any suggestions? Let me know. I, it would be much appreciated, you know. And uh, if you're a musician and you want to come on the podcast, you can. You can. Uh, I'll, I'll bring musicians up. We do uh, the. I, I guess some musicians from uh, my boy Evan Kremen's open mic on Saturdays at the Bitter End. It's pretty cool. We there every Saturday. Well, you check his website, Evan Kremen, uh, Facebook, and. Um, he, do, he runs a good mic, and uh, some of those musicians will be coming on. And uh, a bunch of people do a lot of dope shit. So uh, stay tuned. What else is going on? I, uh, 
Yeah, I was reading about the uh, the Asian kid who uh, fell. Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> who was that? <laughs> Who is that? Yo, yeah, I can't see. Oh, yeah, you I don't have your contact? No, no. You want to sit in and chop it up for five minutes? Sure. Peter Mike, Wong. Mike is so dead. It is dead. I don't, it's uh, whatever. Oh, you. It is, whatever. They can have it. What you up to? Peter Wong. How are you? Were you talking day? to yourself? Just to myself. Oh, you Just said that. <laughs> so sad. When, when somebody cancels, I'm here alone. And, and <laughs> oh, you poor guy. What's going on, Jimmy? Not much, man. I was talking about the uh, the Asian kid that... Uh, Were you really? Huh? Were you really talking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The so, Asian kid that was. Did you hear about him? Who? Uh, I, I've been doing a lot of Asian shit today. I was talking about the Asian kid. I did a lot of Asian shit. The, uh, he was like the stunt, guy, the stunt kid that takes... Uh, Instagram pictures off of high buildings, um, and then he fell to his death. Really? That happened today? <laughs> China, yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. Well, <laughs> and they, he, caught, he caught him. Wait, his, so does he just stand on a tall building? Or is he standing on the ledge of a here's tall the building? Here's the thing: he 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 climbs down. He does a couple pull ups, and then when he uh, couldn't. He, he, I guess he went to burnout <laughs> to uh, pull ups, and uh, he couldn't get back up, and he lost his grip and fell. Oh my god. Yeah, from, well, that's from like a tower, and that's sad. He caught himself on tape. That really? Was, yeah. Oh was, my god. He was going live. In uh, <laughs> did you watch the video? I didn't watch the video. I, I can't. I don't you can't watch deal it. with yeah. gore and yeah. shit. Yeah, I don't. That it, it saw. It, look at you. Look at the soft side of no. I, like sometimes I can see it, but I, I wasn't in the mood to see that today. And, no, uh, I, it just showed him falling out of the picture. How so. do you do with nasty videos like like it beheadings and shit? It depends. I used to see, I used to watch like the face of death when I was a kid, and then I was like, I don't want to see that. Right. You know? Right. I mean, yeah. the, it's unsettling. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They don't make real. you feel good. No, when it's real. There are people that watch it. And, uh, they're like and like and eat popcorn to it. Like it's like yeah, it's that's fucked up weirdos. Yeah, that that's that's a part of you that's broken. Yeah. Yeah, like. yeah, that's uh, weird. Well, you know, I used to uh, I think be into that kind of stuff a little yeah. bit I'd be obsessed with like that stuff but mm-hmm. you kind of grow up and then you kind of live life yeah. and uh, I think part of those videos is you being so like de- detached from mm-hmm. life a little bit Absolutely. like oh I want to see how death is I'm not scared of death I'm not yeah. scared I'll watch it and then you live life a little and then mm-hmm. yeah you start seeing that death is a yeah. little scary and it's violent like for some reason I will, when I used to work in restaurants a lot of like back of the house chefs used to love that shit like in the different restaurants I went to, yeah, yeah I love watching. I say like, you're. Those are of, the guys that want to kill themselves. Yeah. First thing I watch. Like, I, I love, what do they have going for them? Huh? Yeah, like, I, cooking, I, I, cooking shit. cutting steak, and I was rich. like, yeah, I need to see a chick get her head cut off. I was like, <laughs> God damn. Um, I we were talking about Asian fights yesterday, and uh, yeah. I started watching more Asian fights today. Oh yeah. <laughs> there, there is a, a so weird. there is an underground kid's fighting ring and this kid has like 60, 70,000 views I don't remember his name really? is well, it New York? I was going to send it to it you can't be New York no right? it looks like somewhere down south wow a bunch of Asian kids oh it's Asian specifically <laughs> it's, it's Asians and then it was like Asians versus Africans like different people in their neighborhood who wins? and kids uh, I think I, don't, I think the one Asian kid won and one African kid won. oh so it's 1-1 one, one. yeah alright yeah cool. I think but they got so many and they were like yeah you know who we going to fight next and they got do like do these Asian kids know martial arts? no nah, uh, the one just a- no, street tough no just street tough oh shit They're just ghetto street kids wow and uh you know I thought the African <laughs> would get the edge right off the bat he was bigger he was, he was a little bigger right so, but are these Asians quick? Is that what it is? They're no, quick? none of the kids can fight. It's, it's kids. Oh, it's kids. so these are just street they, they idiots. Got, yeah, street idiots. And then, you know, like little 12-year-olds that are going to, you know, break yeah. each other's noses soon. Yeah, that's going to get shut down. You know? That's going to get shut down yeah. quick. Yeah, somebody's going to be like, either either he's going to go in a real fight and somebody's going to teach him proper. They, they, yeah. Well, I mean the channel. The channel can't last long. Because that's going to, that's not okay. You can't put that up. They have so. They have 67, 60, 70 thousand views. Yeah. Is this Somebody's your next what? venture, Jimmy's? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I wish I would have thought about this. Like <laughs> Jimmy's fights. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to get up first, uh, <laughs> you, you have can to fight. challenge someone to I a post quick, it. <laughs> bump fight. Yeah, but comedy. Oh man, I um nobody would do that. They, 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 <laughs> I already get flack from doing 
the fucking birds. Yes, from me. <laughs> from me, I give you the most points. Are you it's depressed? So stupid. Are you depressed? I'm not depressed. You're no. not depressed. No. You're, you're one of the few. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. There's a lot of negative mentality, mm-hmm. but you're not solving it with burpees. I think I am. I don't think I you feel are. like I am. No, I, you're like, not. Several comics have said after I did the burpees, I realized that should work out, and I started working on. That's the biggest lie I've ever true. heard you tell. That's to my fucking true. face. That's you true. Just told me a lie. Comics have said that to me, honestly. But after I did the burpees, I was... yes, yes, I tried to start working out. Okay, that is true. Well, if it is <laughs> true, that's amazing. Yes. Some haven't, not every single one, but some have said, I, I realized would, you know. <laughs> Are you lying? No, oh, it's not. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, well, because here's the thing, people are here just, you know, are doing the mic, and yeah. they're already paying five bucks, yes. and then so, when they have to You're do You're not talking me out of it. <laughs> and also, I'm not, I'm not, I don't care. Yeah. Um, but, but people that are about to go up, and then they lose. Mm-hmm. It's incredibly like hurt. It hurts them a lot. It's a very vulnerable human moment for them, probably. So I don't know. But you don't bump them to the end, right? You no, I bump them to them one spot. Oh, that's not so bad. No, I remember because I saw uh, you did it to uh, what's his name, Andrew, and uh, he only got bumped up bumped two spots or so. And I'm yeah. like, I guess that's not terrible. No, it's not bad. Right. I'm not a monster. <laughs> 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 like somebody, somebody thought they were getting bumped to this to the end. Well, that's and they, what I thought, and they, and they left. Oh, and, okay. And, and, he, he was and like, then you changed it after that. No, no, I, he didn't. He didn't know. I was like, yeah, it's just one spot. You just get that one spot. Did you drag him back, or he already left? No, he already left. And he was like, Bro, you see what happened? I was, like, I was like, I hope he doesn't kill himself over this. <laughs> he like, if he killed himself, <laughs> no, he didn't that one himself. thing is worth this whole burpee not having. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> no, you. If you kill yourself after doing ten burpees, you should kill yourself. <laughs> you should kill yourself. Like, <laughs> I, look, I, I'm a hundred percent with you on uh, working out to yes. improve, improve your life. Absolutely. It's a hundred. You have. I think that yeah. no person should do that. Mm-hmm. I don't. I think people who are ninety nine percent of the people who are overweight, yeah. obese, whatever, they're uh-huh. making excuses, and they should get onto a healthy lifestyle. A hundred percent. Yeah. They should absolutely do that. Um, but forcing, but, people, <laughs> forcing people to do burpees. I don't force anybody. I, I give them an option because the mic runs long. I was like, you have an option. To, to Whose s- fault is it that the mic runs long? Whose fault is it? Is it my fault? Yeah, it's your Why fault. Why is it my fault? Because so, half the time, Fifth, you don't clock people at five. You clock them at seven or eight. And then next thing you know, we're that's not running. True. Well, if I give them extra time, yeah. Or if, All right. Yeah. It's so not true. That's not true. You, you've forgotten to hit people. Every like, host has forgotten. Every host. You Imagine were, sitting you 15 than... people of five minutes and you could get every single That's one. That's the job. Shut the fuck up. And you get every, paid. Everybody does and it. And you're getting paid. Everybody does no. it. Yes. Not absolutely. to your extent. How many mics do you think I've done? You think I only do your mic and I don't realize other mics? I don't notice other people? Nobody does it. Other people do it. Yeah, everybody. A frequency that's like a fraction of yours. Shut the fuck up. True. No. True. I'm not buying it. Man. No. I can't with you, man. Who? I just can't with you. <laughs> There's old dog new tricks. No. Sort of thing right yeah. Now, you know? Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> this is good. Whatever. Oh. But your mic is fun, though. I mean, that all, all that said, all the bullshit is that. <laughs> yeah, let me clean this up. <laughs> it's clean. I don't know why I have so much fun. At you. It's very low pressure. You yes. Know? It takes a, you know, a lot of... You, you go up with a with very low pressure vibe. You know, it's not like... As you should. Yeah, yeah. And that's... Well, and everyone feels that way, too. People come back... Are there high pressure vibes? Mics? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Pine box is a high pressure vibe. It's not a high pressure. I don't think mm-hmm. truly like yeah. high pressure, but I think because there's so many people, mm-hmm. the pressure's built up inside yourself. I mean, imagine that. Imagine sixty of your peers are in one room. Mm-hmm. That's just the, like, yeah. you're just gonna feel that. Yeah. How long is it? Well, that's like three hours. It's a long, long. Like I've only done it once. Yeah. And uh, if because uh, it's at six o'clock on a Wednesday, and then if I have anything else to do. Like if I if I, I go on my, why don't I do two or three mics mm-hmm. at the time I take to do yeah. the one pint box two minute mic, you mm-hmm. know? And only for two minutes. Yeah, you get two minutes after three hours. I mm-hmm. think what what people 
tell them or justify the play stories that you meet a lot of. Yeah. All your, you know, so many people are there, so you can kind of chat with everyone. Mm-hmm. But I think you get more out of just, you know, hustling. Yeah. Absolutely. So if one person came in and said, hey, challenge, that might would be a little better? No. <laughs> just to get you in and out. <laughs> that mic would be so fucking crazy. <laughs> Man, if you hosted the mic box like 60 people, the pressure would go down. Yeah. But it'd be a five hour mic. What? Yeah, mess called the mic. Shut the fuck up. You go for four minutes and shit. Yeah. Like, you go out to chat for some reason. I never go time. out to chat. Are you kidding me? When do I go out to chat? You do it like, I sit right there. One of that time you took a bunch of photos in the middle of something. That was set. one time oh yesterday. God. Yesterday. Oh yesterday. <laughs> Why can't you just admit you do these weird things? No. And laugh about it. No. That, <laughs> I respect you so much more if you're just like, yeah, that's me. Who gives a shit? I, mean, I did do that yesterday, but it's not like every fucking day. Dude. Well, whatever. You're, you're something else. What do I do? You're something else, Jimmy. <laughs> great. I love you, though. I love having you uh, do this, but you're something else. What? <laughs> tell me. Tell me. I'll take it. I told you all the reasons. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. I'll take that. I will never take another picture again. I don't believe you. That's not true. (laughs) (laughs) If if I the very next mic. No, because if I if I miss a picture from the podcast, it just looks funny if I don't have the picture. Right. So I'll try to catch them before they leave. How's the podcast doing, man? It's going okay. You gotta upgrade your equipment. Well, I know that. Does this sound good on there? It sounds fine. Okay. Yes, for now. (laughs) Now. And then we'll see. And then uh, people, I was talking, people in Italy are listening. What? Because I have Italy, Norway, Ireland, how, and Alaska. How do you disseminate like that? Have, you, because when they, they show you a, uh, a map of who listens, yeah, and then like a, new, what, a new thing will like blob up. What are they looking for? And it, I have no idea. I have, it does, I mean, it doesn't tell people, you who it is. These are guys that are dreaming of moving to New to York. To New York, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and they'll, they'll find it and then... Uh, is that, so Do it, like, guys. It's, so easy. And, it's uh, so easy. It's so easy. Just come. I was like, I don't know. I was like, leave a comment so I know who's... Right. You've know. addressed them before, right? On the mic? Uh, On the podcast, I mean? Not... We might have addressed a thing, and then I hashtag it, and they might have popped up. Oh. So... Yeah, if you're still listening, like then, hashtags uh, kind of work. Message Jimmy. Say what's up. Yeah. Say nice. hello. Uh, uh, I want to know. I want to know who you are. Follow yeah. me, Michael Sarah Comedy, Michael on Instagram. Have you have you gone by his play on a Forty Second Street to try to get him to your show? Wait, he's he's in a play right yeah, now. He's in a play right now. What? And I see his sign like every every other day. What's it called? It's called. Oh, I don't know the name of it. I should have took a picture of it. It's him and uh, Franco. I think Franco's one of the Francos. Wow. Okay, let me look it up because uh, yeah, Michael that. Sarah play uh, on like. I don't know street that is. 46, maybe? 47? Yeah, he, he's been... Uh, I hear he's you know not great on stage, but... Uh, yeah, cool. I mean, I'll, I'll, I might check it out. Broadway's expensive, though. You know? I'm, yeah. I'm not, I'm it's not off a guy bro- is, I, think, I feel like it's off-Broadway. Is that Broadway? I, if it's off-Broadway, I'll, I'll What's, what's off-Broadway? Broadway is... So the difference between Broadway and off-Broadway is just the number of seats. So if it's over 300 seats, it becomes a Broadway Oh, Broadway. sure. Uh, I didn't know under 300 is, is off Broadway and I think oh. under like 100 or even less than that is mm-hmm. off off Broadway oh sure um, I thought if you weren't on the street of Broadway no. it's off Broadway yeah. <laughs> it's like, if you're on 8th Avenue and 47th Street <laughs> yeah, let me just it's off Broadway fucking right? Ring the Doom Theater <laughs> on Broadway and now I have yeah, a Broadway, Broadway show <laughs> we did comedy like like LOL is on Broadway so you perform, you're on well, Broadway that's, well, is Broadway Comedy Club on Broadway, like the Broadway no, Avenue? No, no, they're right? they're on Eighth uh, Eighth Avenue. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. It's Eighth and Yeah. Third. So it's not even. It's nowhere. It's like right. Broadway's like. But they're using the name to yeah. get the people to go. Yeah. Oh, Broadway, Broadway and connect yeah. to Comedy yeah. Club. Yeah. You know. Yeah, which is smart and, and shady at the same time. But, oh yeah. Right. <laughs> That's exactly it. Smart and shady. <laughs> smart. Isn't that your? Isn't that? Uh, me? Isn't that you wrapped up? Smart and me? shady. Me? Why do I gotta be that? <laughs> Why can't I just be a guy? <laughs> no, I'll tell you what. You're, you're not shady. You, uh, shady's not what you are. You're definitely. You run things pretty straight. <laughs> right? I try to. Yes. 
But what am I? I yeah, I'll take that. Smart. Smart. <laughs> Smart. Well, hard. Work hard. Yes. Um, I try. You know. Maybe smart's not the right word. <laughs> you still say some crazy shit. <laughs> So you're learning about Asians today. No, this week, this week is Asian Week. For you. This Asian Asian Fight Week. This week is Asian Fight Week. And Asian um, falling off the. Mess. And that just happened. I, I, I didn't construct that. I uh, it just happened. And uh, you walked in as I was talking about it, and uh, somebody else posted about it. And I was like, "Well, Are you, did you grow up with Asian friends?" Yeah, yeah. I had, I had one guy. His. Uh, um, I guess we were friends when we were kids, and then uh, his parents owned like a uh, bought him a hat store, mm. and he's like this big hip hop hat. Uh, oh yeah, seller yeah in the Bronx. Oh, so all right, that makes sense. I, all the Asian guys you know are very urban Asian. Yeah, urban. Asian guys, right? They talk with some slang. They talk. Damn, I'm, I'm gonna miss out on somebody right now. Mm. Yeah, yeah, pretty pretty urban. Yeah, no, nobody. Um, Somebody's gonna hit me up, like, really? We're not friends? <laughs> just but I'm guessing you don't, you don't, you don't know a lot of like, for example, Ivy League Asians. That's not your typical circle. No, right? No, nerdy Asians, IT Asians. No, uh, no not not uh, the uh, fish market Asians. Those are not the Asians you no, know. No, no, I, I, no. You know Asians that look like Jin, Jin the yes. MC. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, female Asians. I trained a few. Um, I had a couple things in college. The, that, that was at Temple, not at uh, UPenn. All the, all the girls I dated at UPenn were all black. Mm. In India. In India, does that count as Asian? Uh, no, geographically. That's not the Asian you were talking about. Yeah, exactly. About. Geographically, India is yeah, Asian. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, no, India, a lot of Indian girls. Mm-hmm. That's it. How about you? Asian India. friends? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any Asian friends? <laughs> of course so, not. Did you go to Did you go to Ivy League school? No, no, no. no? no, no. I went to uh, community college. It was like the opposite. <coughs> really? Yeah. I just I, I, I it didn't compute. I was like, oh, what? <laughs> they, Asians go to, <laughs> go to community. <laughs> you can't look down on me. You had the air of you don't know any Ivy League Asians. And no, I didn't like, question. Oh, I said it as a statement. I said, you don't know any Ivy League Asians. <laughs> I was like, you don't. <laughs> you don't know. You wouldn't know any Ivy League Asians, but you're not even. <laughs> Well, because I'm not an Ivy League. Yeah. I'm not an Ivy League Asian. Uh-huh. Um, so you get the Asians, you get you get the Ivy League Asians. Uh-huh. You get... Um, the is business school Asian count? Is it business school Asian is, is similar. Is, is that They're kind of similar. Okay. But you get a lot in New York business school Asians. Frat boy Asians. Did you get my text? I, I did. I sent you yeah. a Oh, I, I hate you. That's okay. That's okay. Peter, Peter Wong... Good. You, want to you want to jump in? You want to yeah, jump sure. in? Yeah, yeah, Tuesday, Tuesday is always light for this mic. So Let's whatever. talk about sets. Yeah. yeah. So, I'll it's, let you. I'll let you plug your fucking podcast. Whatever. Let's no, talk about what, sets. What are you, 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 you saying? They're, they're different. Um, I was telling Jimmy how, like, I was asking if Jimmy had Asian friends growing up, and I was guessing that if he did, they were very urban type of Asians. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not, not Ivy League Asians. Yeah, I said straightforwardly. That and you. what specific characteristics differentiate those two groups? Well, let me get really into it. Well, an Ivy League Asian is self-explanatory. You know? mm-hmm. Guy, uh, Asian guy in Harvard or Yale, and you know, they're studious or you know whatever. I mean, that's if you want to really like pigeonhole yeah. right, one of them. And then an urban Asian, you'll see like wearing like the hats and the loose baggy. Uh-huh. Sweater, you know, hoodies and uh, and the yep. yeah. baggy jeans, and you know, you'll mm-hmm. see, we'll, we'll, you'll see them walking around in New York and stuff. I see as I'm explaining yeah. this that I you might be coming it? off ignorant. A yeah. bit, what you guys are looking <laughs> no, at. what I'm enjoying about this is that you're describing, you're just basically saying like. Well, Asians can um, look like a black person does in a certain environment, and in yeah. others they can chameleon over into a rich, privileged yeah. white yeah. niche. Thank you. Yeah. That's, that's exactly it, where you're I was bragging trying. about their yeah. adaptability. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For the chameleon. Anybody who's not black or white 
falls into that gray area <laughs> where, they, where they get to choose. Which, well, don't which, get me wrong. Of which course, culture they want to? There are there are like street black people. There are mm-hmm. Ivy League black people, and there are street white people in Ivy. The, 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 these but things are true as well. Yeah. Uh, I just enjoyed how you were highlighting the adapt that <laughs> yeah. ability to adapt um, or just stay in Chinatown. There's also yeah. that kind. There's also yeah. Is there's it? a Chinatown. That's the fish market Asian. Okay, so. the fish market. <laughs> but but ask him what kind of Asian he is. What kind of Asian are you, Peter? That's a good question, right? Mr. Wong, art school Asian. Uh, are you art school? What, what college did you go to? Ask him. What kind? I I'm being told to ask you <laughs> what college they know, but <laughs> I went to a community college. Oh, you went to community college, and that okay. shocked Jimmy. It was, yes, was, because the way he said, "Oh, you don't know any Ivy League Asians," like he was a part of that. <laughs> oh, like, he was like, "You don't know any of us," but he was he, he's not that either. I didn't that say us, but that's the way you said it. You were like, "You don't know myself. any Ivy League Asians." That's a different circle mm-hmm. from me. Ivy League. Yes. Mm-hmm. They're not the people I Do you know no any Ivy Asians. League agents? Uh, no. And you don't know any. No. What, what I think <laughs> this actually boils down to is what you what everybody is saying not going actually hitting uh-huh. is class. Yeah. yeah. That's what that's all. It's all yeah, I'm breaking it into class. Yeah. yeah. But that's uh but it's also um it's also accessibility, right? Cuz mm-hmm. cuz are you part like, of as a black man, you're not you don't reach out to as many Asians as an Asian man would. That's just a natural. Uh huh. Tell the, tell him man. more about his experience. Yeah. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> Am I wrong? Um, uh, Do you not, encounter that many Asians compared to the amount of black people you encounter? Not compared to the amount of black people, but I uh, my school was actually one of the most diverse schools in the country. Mm-hmm. So uh, uh, I encountered all types of people. What what school is that? Temple. Temple, Temple University. Okay. Uh, gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. And so, uh, and 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 that's what led you to the intense uh, racist position that you have on stage. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I I went to a uh, all white. I was I, I got an academic scholarship to go to a, a high school that was predominantly white, mm-hmm. and um, seeing just that line of of haves and have nots. Mm-hmm. That makes you angry. Mm. Makes you a little angry. like like not knowing. You don't know that you that you're poor until you see somebody who's really comfortable. Oh yeah, you know. Oh yeah. And then when you see that the people who are really comfortable are are generally white people in that circumstance, it kind of makes you angry. So so I, I had a very mm-hmm. weird experience with that growing up yeah. because my father was a contractor mm-hmm. and then the economy in Billings, Montana. Yeah. Collapses, and it was one of those bubbles that burst in yeah. general across the nation mm-hmm. uh, for real estate. And so he had all these projects rolling, and all of them just collapsed, and uh, he was mired in debt. Yeah. And so sold off all of the less expensive homes that that were actually being sold to consolidate the mountain of debt uh-huh. under which he was drowning. And so we ended up moving into the last one that he built that wasn't finished, which happened to be a giant home. And so we didn't we, – we had no money. Like it was like, uh, can we get green beans in a can tonight? Yeah, it's a giant uh, home. But the kids thought we were – we had money. And, and uh, uh, the neighbors as well because yeah. it was the beginning of this rather wealthy subdivision. Uh-huh. He built the house on spec. Yeah. And so we were in this unfinished home. That looked like we had money, yeah. and we had uh, we did it. And the more you try to explain and, and, it, the yeah. more yeah. Right, 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 right. right. I'm right. Rich. And, so, like, yeah. and so the kids thought, and I'd, I'd be like, I, why we don't like? And meanwhile, I'm going to school. I'm in this area with all these rich kids who like really well the kids all the doctors of the yeah, town all the yeah. lawyers of the town everybody the orthodontists or whatever they all lived in this same area where I went to school and I was just, I just remember just being like this is so weird to have a facade of wealth and, and no amount of explaining unless they went in the house and saw that it was yeah. unfinished and yeah. the backyard was all dirt yeah. <laughs> so I got to see that for his yeah. head god damn yeah. So he's saying he's not the type of white guy that he hates. <laughs> 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 well, I, I became it for a while because yeah. it scared the shit out of me. I was like, well, I don't want to live like that. That was, yeah. that was My parents were really but he stressed became- out. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, and then I was like, once you're, around, you're associated with it, yeah. so 
Yeah. No, no, no. It wasn't yeah. them. It was I left Montana because it oh. it's a poor place. Yeah, super yeah, yeah, poverty yeah. stricken. So yeah, I was yeah. like, I'm going to go chase money in California. Yeah. So, But I, all because of the fear from watching my parents yeah. uh, be miserable wow. and stressed. And my dad work 20 hours a day and like just to pay – rob Peter to pay Paul and try to get him out from under the debt. Yeah. So, yeah. So I, I got to see it. The yeah. haves and half nots. Yeah. It still exists yeah. even if you're white. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it does. It does, and, and, and I, I did learn that. But it feels like it's Under- lopsided. Absolutely, you know, when you get thrusted into and it, it's like holy shit. Like my first day of school, I saw a family pull up and they just squished in a Ferrari, right? <laughs> just happy. I was like, I've never. And you come from the Bronx. I've never been driven to school, mm-hmm. and they they just it just and it felt that upset like, you a lot to see like the, rich. It, it bothered me. It, it bothers you it, because of, of where you come from to where. Well, look, it, they you know. I went to, and I know people are different. You know, when, different when, backgrounds. When I went to, I'm glad you know that. That's good. Yeah. The, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, it, it, it felt like it was all white. But it, but it feels yeah. like that for a reason yeah. because yeah. the general trend is that mm-hmm. uh, in the United States. That's the whole structure of the country, yeah. uh, sadly. Mm-hmm. And I got to see that firsthand when I went. Now that I'm taking over your podcast, yeah. the, the, I got to see that firsthand because uh, when I was married to my ex-wife, she was black, and her parents had pulled themselves out of out of poverty to become a doctor and a dentist. Mm-hmm. And then I got to go back to their hometowns and I got to see the after effects, the legitimate after effects of slavery, of apartheid, all that stuff still playing out today. I went to Shreveport, Louisiana, deep south Louisiana, and I was like, there's a black side of town and a white side of town and the black side of town. They were still living in the same fucking shacks that they were used to live in. A hundred years ago, yeah. they called shotgun shacks, yeah. and I remember just being fucking horrified. I was like, yeah. "So the movies aren't exaggerating? No. Not at all." Yeah. And I remember just being like, "This is horrific!" Yeah. Like, and and I didn't know. I had no idea. I thought it was. All, I thought the movies were mm-hmm. exaggerating the situation, yeah. and I just remember just like bursting out laughing in the car. It, out of just awkwardness of yeah. being the only white guy in this whole area mm-hmm. to go meet my family, uh, my new <laughs> in-law yeah. family, being like, I didn't do this, and I feel so guilty <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. so wrong about this whole thing. So I, I, I saw it too. Yeah. So you were laughing. It was, it was, it was a this it uncomfortable. It, yeah, it broke me, and uh, it, and, and on top of all of that, there's like it was just. It was also hopeless. Like there were homes that were just burnt down because they couldn't afford the insurance, so they just stayed burnt down. Mm. And and you'd see that here was a fire here, here was a fire here, there was a fire there, and even worse than that, even worse than that, there was there there was oil under them hills. Mm. And so they were starting to get these tiny little payments from gas and and oil companies, and they didn't know what to do, or fe- they felt helpless, or what I don't know. But so what do they do? They just bought a new truck yeah. instead of buying their way out of the situation. Yeah. Yeah. It was just it was just the whole thing was just heart crushingly wow. sad. And I say that because it's so funny. I, say, <laughs> 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 I realize just how, yeah. how that it was so funny. Yeah, yeah. it was so <laughs> bad. <Yeah. laughs> no, it was, it, was, it, was, it was tragic. I'm glad I got to see that because yeah. that's fucking real. Yeah, goddamn. I don't even know where to go. So, <laughs> why are you racist again? Was where we all started. Um, why is your persona so uh, anti- antagonizing all the so different races? Races? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe from that, from the difference. We got an Asian guy. We got a guy from England. We got a gay guy today. Uh, two black guys. When did I say that? That's how you start off your crowd work. Because I like seeing people's differences. Wow. No. Yeah. It's not. A, it's not. A, it's not from a. Not from a, a hateful uh, perspective. I don't think it is at yeah. all. Actually, and I, and you're doing what is super common in New York yeah. in general. Yeah. 
Like that's in New York. Oh, there's, that guy. there's be super common. What? what? <laughs> the I'm super saying, common guy. <laughs> I'm, say, I'm saying. I'm saying the comedy culture in New yeah. York centers around culture and race. Yeah. Because there's no more multi-ethnic, multicultural, multi-racial place on the planet. Right. I think it's just a product of yeah. that. Yeah. But you go other places and they're like, you know, I went. I saw comedy in New York. It's yeah. very racial. Yeah. <laughs> and it's yeah. like, well, yeah. yeah, because look okay. where you are. <laughs> Yeah. There are more languages spoken in the so United States. So it's like a playground almost of where you get to, I guess, explore that. Absolutely. Because yeah. you can't just talk to people on the street. So when they all come to you, it's like, oh, I can take a little piece of that and then show everybody. and We can all laugh at it. Right. And, mm-hmm. then, and they're never going to talk to each other, you know? It is very clubby. You know? Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's more segregated here than it was on the West Coast, for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nobody talks. Everybody's afraid to talk to each other. Like, it's so hard. Like, when you see two two random people just have a conversation in public, it's weird. It's, it's weird. It's like, Wait, don't you have a job? Yeah, yeah, why are you talking right now? Why are you... Are you saying outside of New York, it's very it happens a lot. People just talk to each other, like two strangers. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. When I when we when I, yeah, it was in Delaware. People were like, hey, where's your accent from? Like people would just talk to you mm-hmm. and, and, and chop it up and laugh with you. And uh, they'll they'll come sit at your table when you eat dinner. And just and, yeah, you know. Yeah, it's definitely like Montana. It's almost like like weird. Like, but there's like not people, a lot of black people there either. So. No, no. <laughs> Although that's that's changing. Is it? Yeah, no, it is. They're going there. It is. They are. Why? They are. Oil. <laughs> oh shit! Giant, huge oil reserves were discovered there. Well, they they always knew, but yeah. fracking essentially. Oh, okay. And so, like about a chunk of like a third of Montana turns out just sitting over oil. And so now there's just like this influx of thousands and thousands of people. Yeah. Um, men, all men, all going up to this the middle of nowhere on these empty prairies to uh, help frack that shit out, and uh, it's really it's a violent, um, like uh, uh, the desolate situation because they they live in tents and but they get paid like hundred fifty thousand dollars to a year to go up there and and do that job. So it's it's changing the demographic completely of, of where I grew up and for the better. Yeah. I drove through a tiny little town on the way to my parents' cabin recently, and I saw a black family playing in a in a in a in this tiny town called Joliet. It can't be more than yeah. like three thousand people, yeah. and I saw a black family playing in the in the uh, in the the park that's right next to the highway, and I just went. And I looked and I was like, yeah! <laughs> 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 I want to hear the conversation. These are the Joliet people are like, man, we've been here for three generations. Never thought I'd see the day. Like, <laughs> 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 so funny to me. We got some. I didn't know that's what fracking was. I've been seeing I didn't band- know what it was either. <laughs> I've yeah. been seeing like Hydraulic fracking. fracturing. They shove water into the ground uh, hydraulically so that it breaks up the... So that it breaks up the um, the, the the rock and then like shoves you, you oil have, up. You have to talk like a miner to to, to, to describe it. Like you're right, yeah, right there. Uh, you, gotta, you, get, you gotta get your water. I you got more. You shove it into the <laughs> ground and then it pushes the oil up and ruins the water forever. <laughs> it's um, it's uh, lucrative. The more you got into it, the more your accent came out. I guess so. Well, that second part was on purpose. Yeah, I know the really second part, it. but I heard it in the first part. Right. You can't say fracking without saying fracking. Fracking. <laughs> yeah. So it's fracking up the it's fracking up our goddamn state. <laughs> it's, fun, it's funny how different and that's that's the culture there. And they're mad at fracking. Like like they love it and they hate it. There are people who absolutely like love it's bringing it. Bring money and bring Oh, business. absolutely. It's very big pro business Republican, very uh they they're like stay out of our business, give us liberty so yeah. we can do whatever we want. You leave us the fuck alone. They're closer even to libertarian than anything else, I'd say. Yeah. Um, and then there's a whole other group uh, that only live in Missoula, Montana, and they're super liberal. They're like Ber- – it's called the Berkeley of the Rockies. They're just like – it's all hippies. Wow. Like with – like people like live out of a school bus <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> what, what, what school did you go to? Uh, University of Montana. Oh, so University I know, of in, in Missoula. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I heard yeah. that bit where you had your guns at college. Mm-hmm. Yes, okay. my college gun bit. <laughs> your college gun bit. <laughs> I was like, see, I can never. Like, uh, like I've no. Like, I had a roommate that had guns, but uh, I would never. You would never what? Uh, I, like, they have a. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, 
um, like Ooh. you like you just carry your guns. Oh, open like, carry, open carry, yeah. open carry. Yeah, it exists in Montana. I have never seen it aside from during hunting season yeah. when people are like they're like in the back of their trucks and stuff because they're out hunting. But yeah. I've never seen people be like, "I'm going shopping, so I got to bring my six yeah. shooter." <laughs> like in Delaware, they would do that. They I've heard. Just, they, yeah, like a, Delaware, they just like walk sting. around. Yeah, I was like, oh, "This fucking asshole!" Like they, they're the fattest people, the fattest. I was like, "I could take your gun and shoot you with it." Like, is there like, a lot of crime in Delaware? Um, not on parts of Delaware, like, like, you know, like there'll be like sections of like hood right. and like, they're not going to where you're carrying your gun, mm-hmm. you know, you, you're just doing uh, it, okay. you if know, you're just going to Walmart. For yeah. They're not, I mean, can, can you imagine just sitting in an Arby's and someone walks in and just like sets their shotgun down on the table so they can eat their, their, yeah, their, their, a, their I, 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 what, what? It's so. Yeah. I mean, that, that's crazy to us, but I think that's pretty normal in, in, yeah. uh, in a couple like, of places. Guys, just have this revolver, know. like an old, or at least have it in your pocket, yeah. something like that. Yeah, I, really I, think yeah so. I don't, I, I don't know um, how common it is to bring it into like restaurants yeah. and things like that, but it is. People are making a statement with it, right? Yeah. Like yeah. they keep it on the back of their truck, or, or see, that's in Montana. That's not a. It's not a statement. Mm-hmm. Um, although maybe it is now, I haven't lived there in a while, but yeah. like, it was just a fact of life. Mm-hmm. You just, you had your guns it's, because... It's not the Wild West. It's like, the, it, it, the it, only thing that can happen is you fall and shoot yourself. Yeah, but but in but in, in Montana, hunting season's like, yeah. All right. huge, yeah. huge. Yeah. It's it's such a big deal. Mm-hmm. And, and, and so you have them, and you don't have them in the back of your truck. Yeah. During the spring, yeah. you have them in, in the fall yeah, because you're going to probably go hunting later, or maybe in a couple of days. Mm-hmm. You'll probably take them out so they don't get stolen. Like it's not, it's not like you like if you drove up yeah. here and you parked on this in, and your, your your rifles were in your truck, you'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But there, it's just like life. Yeah. Delaware is a little is different because because it would be a guy with like a Confederate flag. And, he's, and you yeah. get and that the statement that makes is yeah, yeah. so big. Yeah, like all right, if you have a rifle in your truck and it's a camouflage truck, you're going hunting. But you got a Confederate flag and a revolver in your hip. It's, just, to, just to be clear, if you've camouflaged your truck, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you know I've how seen hunting those. works. <laughs> But that's all our pictures. Like, yeah. All right, right to the top of the hill. They can't see us. I'm sure nothing has hurt us. <laughs> I've seen camouflage trucks. Like somebody. An entire, like a ghillie suit over the truck. Yeah. So it's got actual leaves and stuff. <laughs> Delaware, they camouflage their, their pickup you trucks. You put like antlers on the top. Of the <laughs> it looks like. They douse it in, in elk urine. So, yeah, I don't want them to smell. Oh, my uh, uh, they have them. Those you'll, those. you'll see them all the time. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. Like I, I haven't thought about. It. I was like, yeah, you just. Well, but camo's also more than just functional. It's also a style. It's a style. It's, it's a yeah. Because they wear camouflage everything, and it's, it's like yeah, it's it's a it's it character. is it is character, it, and it's like isn't it? It's it's odd how like for some people they're staking out how like patriotically independent mm-hmm. and militant they are yeah. and for other people I've seen people they're wearing it I don't un, I don't know what they're saying yeah. but they have to know it's a statement of some sort yeah. they, you they, know they, what I mean like I also, there's also a culture uh, if you've heard of Grant Bape what Bape yeah. Bathing Ape yeah. and a lot no. of their stuff is camo is it yeah what's, yeah. Ca- what's Bathing Ape Bathing Ape is a uh, is I don't know if I'm wrong in saying this. It's a street brand. Yeah. So similar to Supreme. Yeah. If you've heard of Supreme. No. Ah, uh, shit. Really showing my roots here. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> so I'm really showing my roots. Supreme. I know, right? This, this is so, this is very hip stuff. It's like Vans almost. Kind of uh, like Vans. Yeah. It's, it's more hip. Yeah. Era. Like, it's like. It's like what Vans are in the 70s. They're brands. All right, so no Vans the, either. Vans shoes? Again. Really? You look like a Vans guy. In what? the world of... Uh, I don't even know. I don't even look at your right now. Like you might be wearing Vans. No, I would never but wear you Vans. But you have no, no Vans I'm not in a Vans. House, I would I never. I would well, what do Vans say? I'm so Vans is a young... Okay, so emo, it's, it's, emo kids? You uh-huh. ever see like the emo... Yeah. 
culture. Yeah. Uh, they have these slip-on, almost like slipper uh, sneakers uh-huh. without shoelaces. Those are Vans. Okay. Um, like skateboard culture. Skateboard culture, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Um, okay, but, okay, okay, okay. So, so like, like, like wimp punk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, but these are, these are also van- yeah, brands that they, they're, they're very hyped up. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just to wear them, just to yeah. mm-hmm. express. I and so there's a camo version. There's a, this. so for the, ba- like for a bathing You're ape. You're the kiss, right? The kiss. Yeah, stop talking brands. Oh, at, uh, <laughs> it's never at this point. For Levi's, right? <laughs> Levi's, yeah. <laughs> the Gap. The gap. <laughs> it's like uh, the Gap, but for so bathing ape and Ivy League Asians. And well, Supreme itself. is I'm a, strictly J. Crew, so I <laughs> I just oh, oh Eddie Bauer occasionally, but I want to slum it. I the, the brand uh, uh, Supreme is is uh, they they limit their quantity on purpose. So they I think they open their store. Once a year, mm-hmm. and uh, it's it's for um, until it's stuff is sold out, and then they just close. They just it's only open once a month for a year, and then uh, no, it's only open for a month of the year, and mm-hmm. then they close it for the rest of it's the like year. It's like tax season or something. They always come with new shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and Every... they their supply is artificially limited, but they're mm-hmm. they're they're hyped up. You know, they, they're right. highly sought after to get so like great. like like McDonald's Szechuan sauce. <laughs> Isn't that a Rick and Morty thing? Yeah, yeah, but it was they, they, they yes, Rick and Morty picked up on it and decided to get them to to, to, to bring it back by obsessing over it. <laughs> oh, okay. So, but like, it's like how McDonald's brings back the McRib every once in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's the McRib. Of, um, so similarly, uh, and then Bape, um, Bape. I don't think it's like that, but they're 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 also one of those brands that are very popular in that culture, mm-hmm. um, and their design mostly is. Um, is a camo print, you know, that's very like with a lot of green and black and brown. Yeah. And it's a, you know, you'll have a logo of a monkey somewhere. In yeah, there. I know they have a monkey on there. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm curious about how you got onto the um, different classes of Asians. Oh, yeah. How well, did I, that happen? Jimmy's talking about how um, he's been watching uh, Asian fights Asian all fights, week yeah. and he's just saw. <laughs> Video yeah. of an Asian guy fall off a building, yeah. and he's like, "This week has been very Asian uh, centric." Center. <laughs> and so I was like, "How many Asians have you grown up with, really?" And then, uh, and I'm like, "If out of those, they're probably there's there's a specific Asian that he probably grew up." Globally with. speaking, every day is Asian centric, right? Yeah. The, the, on yeah. top of the world, yeah. Uh, That's but, what I try to tell everyone, yeah, yeah. right? Come on. But but I, I've grown up watching martial arts stuff, so mm-hmm. so. You know, I. What's I, that mean? I've watched martial arts movies. I've, I've been in a martial arts since I was a kid. Um, just not a lot of Asians. Which one? Uh, shit, man, karate, mm-hmm. kung fu, uh, ninjutsu. Mm-hmm. The, as a fad, you know, my cousin was a little off. So. This is the same cousin that. Yeah. Yeah, you, you had to fight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like so he, you, he was trained, and yeah, you yeah. know, uh, he was like, "Yeah, we're gonna be ninjas." And then I was like, you know, breaking down the classes after that, you yeah, know, yeah, you know yeah. wherever I was. Um, and yeah. And then the, the, I am yeah. of, of the non, I'm not in the Ivy League <laughs> class. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not in the street, you know, urban class yeah. either. Um, I'm somewhere in between. Community, Community college. Community yeah. college, yeah. Then I went to a regular college afterwards. Yep. Nope. Doesn't oh, it count. doesn't count. Once, in a when, college, once you say yeah. you're a community college Asian, yeah, you're, it's forever. Forever. Uh, you're uh-huh. forever. That's your alma mater. So you're you, wherever else you went was your transfer. I will school. never see you anything but. You, <laughs> you, you can get the highest degree ever. You're still a community college. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's a PhD, really, from so, which community college? <laughs> Okay, Doctor Community College. Let's. <laughs> right. Yeah. That was a a, a thing that I, I I struggled with a lot at the yeah. time. You know, my parents put a lot of pressure on being uh, getting a doctorate from community college. Yeah, I bet that sounds like a struggle. That was very tough. It was a, a four year wow. accelerated program. You know? No, you really struggle with this from your parents' how? Yeah, because uh, they you know they they they're tiger parents in the mm-hmm. same way. Right? At least my mom was. She was very like adamant that I go to a good college because mm-hmm. that's what she learned from her friends you know that right. Asian community that's the way to go and she would bring up uh, uh, her, a friend of hers who she worked with and how 
her friend's son just got into like Harvard or Yale, mm. and how like they must be so proud of him, how great that is. And uh, yeah, and all I had was like, the, it's, hey, I'm going it's to, okay, it's okay. Yeah. I feel, I feel like <laughs> you know, you know, there is for you guys. <laughs> there is a there's a couple uh, bonuses for not having made it into Stanford or Yale or whatever, um, and it's that. You don't have the thing that I was able to hold over my ex-wife all the time, which is any time she did anything stupid, I'd be like, way to go, Stanford. <laughs> I, I, people can't yeah. do that right. to you. Do the, oh, and you went to Harvard. It's, it's yeah. constant. Yeah. You, you just, it's like you always up, there. You always it's always there. Well, that's a Stanford <laughs> move, sweetheart, isn't it? Like, oh, yeah. so that's, that's one. Two, uh, I I ended up meeting lots of uh, her Stanford friends and... Uh, met and then the other Ivy Leagues from that network. And they're losers. And, and it's not that the, I would no, okay. no, they're not losers. But what they it. are is like if they're not doing something with that, yeah. they feel really empty wow. in some way. Yeah. Like they they sit there, they're told once they get there that they're the elite, the cream of the crop, so mm-hmm. on and so forth. They also were very smart where they were, but then they get put in this pool of people yeah. that are. A thousand times smarter than them. They might have been amazing, but then they get then it's just like this like crushing ego blow when they've spent their whole childhood being told they're Wunderkind, yeah. and and then and then they get there and it's like it's it can be like devastating. They and let it define them. Right? That, absolutely, they yeah. let it define them completely, and then they get there, and then all of a sudden they realize I'm nothing yeah. compared uh-huh. to these other absolute geniuses. And then the other piece of it is if they don't do something at the end of it with that, it follows them their, until they deal with it. It follows them because they're just like, I was told I was the best. I made it through here. I had all this potential and now I'm an HR yeah. or whatever it is that, that wasn't high enough for them to be okay with it. Yeah. I watched I, – I've, t- I've had that conversation with a number of them. Right. That's insane. So, so there's a lot of pressure that goes with that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Of course. Although I would have given anything to have gone to Harvard just to be part of Lampoon and stuff like that. Like yeah. all those people go on pretty big is. things. Yeah. I wanted to try to go to Warden and then I was going to go get my MBA and then uh, I uh, went to a business school and he was like, just read a bunch of books. You don't need to go to business school yeah. for what you want to do. Yeah. And uh, I was like, well, I guess I'm not going. And, but I, you, you, so you want that title. A little B, B, B school is a club. Yeah. That's it. And what you get at, I, I was going to do B School at one point. And from what I understood, B School is a club. It's basically you develop a network of people mm-hmm. who are now going to be uh, available for leverage and favors in a variety of different places. Yeah. And and that's what you really get from a lot from Ivy League as well is this you're part of this culture that this network of people that helps you and you help them. And, I, and that's one thing that, that you that's a positive yeah, yeah. <laughs> how much of the shit is knowing people yeah. yeah look at look at look at Conan O'Brien Conan O'Brien's a Harvard guy right and a lot of the people who work for him are Harvard people wow. and he got his job some of his earlier jobs because uh, he, he had this embedded comedy thing the lampoons and stuff yeah. and then it, uh, off he went and it, it was just this you know Linear progression until he lost the Tonight Show. <laughs> but I mean, it's fine. It's fine. Show. It's fine. Yeah, it's good for him. So, like, I think there's like that's what you miss out of um, that culture. But I don't know. I don't know about you, but I've learned way more and a lot better stuff just trying to do things yeah. Yeah. than I ever did sitting in a classroom. Yeah, yeah. every time. Yeah, that goes for anything. Right? Yeah. 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 Instead of to learning about it through the, the structured academic way, just go and fail at it. Yeah. Just go do it. Yeah, just do it. Just do it. And you'll you know? meet people along the way that are failing and doing too. Right. And uh right. And, and that's where you that, that you still build a bond. Right. You know? Right. Because I, I put calls out to comedians that you know that help you along the journey. Mm-hmm. So we we build our own bond. What do you mean right? put put calls out? Uh, if I need anything, help, like help with this podcast, mm-hmm. kind of, comics will come and be like, yeah, I'll, do, I'll edit or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, not maybe to that caliber, but you know. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I, I think there are some people who are particularly good in that, like, they, they want to please. So the, the, the classroom mm-hmm. setting is really great for them. Yeah. 
And they want to please, and they want to like, yeah. oh, absolutely, I did all the work. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, sometimes it feels like if you go through the class, you'll get that success that comes with it. Right. Like, but right. that's yeah, not that's how... The, no. the degree, that's what the degree says. Yeah. 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 Congratulations. Yeah. And did all this. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, but when is... I, I, I always sort of say this to younger people. I, I go, this, everybody's telling you this is very important... And they're lying to you. Yeah. All of them are lying to you or they're lying to themselves because no one has ever asked me once, mm-hmm. what was your GPA? Yeah. Never. Never. Do you have a college degree? Nobody Great. cares about the GPA. They didn't it, care. Tick mark. Yeah. You know, but I and still, I I could, you can lie. If yeah. you want. I don't, but you could lie. And they don't check. Yeah. They yeah. don't care. Yeah. No. They're, they're like, how is he in the interview? What did other people say about him? Yeah. No, it's true. I could get a job for a minute. I I didn't lie, and people were like, "Why didn't you lie?" Everybody, and, and that's the and thing. As soon as I started lying, I was like, I was getting, I was like, right. <laughs> it's so ridiculous from not being honest. Right, right. You it's, guys are so full of shit. It's so ridiculous. He's like, yeah, I just took a template of a resume online, and, <laughs> and I just put my name over it, and I got my job. And and I got a hundred thousand <laughs> best resumes for yeah. financial positions. He's like, it's all online. <laughs> Sweet. It just once oh, you're in, they like you, so yeah, they're not gonna right, fire you. Right, right. It's so full. It's so full of shit. It's a. It's, <laughs> yeah, man. The that 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 process is so crazy. Taking my bullshit resume and then sliding it back to me, and it's like, what do you? So what are you doing with this? <laughs> You're like it must must. Uh, we were looking for five years of experience in project management. You're like, well, uh, I guess this template says three. Ooh, I gotta change that to a five. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Um, but we can, uh, where are you at online? Uh, at Michael Sarah Comedy on Instagram. You're running with the Michael Sarah, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's just uh, uh, I'm I'm too deep now. <laughs> You're in it. <laughs> it's only a months, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm deep. Is that a website? You got a website for it? Uh, I I do. That's my actor website. My actor website is uh, Q I H A O H. What if you took michaelsarah.com and he didn't have it yet? Oh, he has it already. He's like Michael Sarah. The real Michael Sarah.com. Face on there? Yeah. I was like, what? Maybe. Actually, give me ideas. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Does he have a YouTube channel? Whatever he doesn't have. Like, I'll take it. MichaelSarah2.com. Yeah. Go, oh. go, go under, uh, go under uh, damn, Noam.com and type his name in. Okay. And it shows all of social media. What, what, and you can get your name? Uh, all right. I'll stop. I'll, I'll dominate <laughs> just the one comedy show, I, I think. I don't know. I, I, just want you to, I just want you to go to <laughs> war with him to, now. I don't want my future to be someone announcing me as Michael Sarah yeah. and then I come out. <laughs> Mr. Michael Sarah <laughs> Comedy. <laughs> 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 For now, it's a fun gimmick that yeah. I'm playing. Well, I, did you already cover it? The Michael Sarah element? No. Did you already cover it? Is there t- can I just ask? Yeah, 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 absolutely. What, what <laughs> is the deal with the Michael Sarah thing? Because uh, uh, I've always been a fan of Michael Sarah because uh, he's an awkward guy. Yeah. I wish he just stopped right there because yeah, like, it would yeah. sound so creepy. <laughs> I've always been a fan of Michael Sarah. Yeah. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> You like the Asian Michael Sarah? I, I thought I was for a yeah. bit, um, but I think I'm I'm a little. If as the more I get to grow mm-hmm. and know myself, I think I'm a little more. Um, I don't know. Cooler. Socially adjusted yeah, than you're he cooler. is. Yeah. Thanks, cooler. Yeah. Um, uh, you're but Asian. You're, you're automatically a, cooler. Wow. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, t- <laughs> But uh, <laughs> he knows. Jimmy knows. Jimmy has his fresh it's points. It's points. Uh, yeah, you got it's, flavor. It's yeah. levels of flavor. You're, Asian. You're already yeah, cool. Yeah. But uh, well, as I was getting out of learning to be an adult, mm-hmm. I guess I I, I, I admired um, Michael Sarah's uh, confidence in his awkwardness. Yeah. You know, he he took uh, what is a, a big weakness to a lot of people and made that. His his strength. Mm-hmm. Um, so I love that, and uh, and all the movies he's in is hilarious, yeah. and uh, his the interviews he's in he's very charming, and um, so yeah I was like what and what's weirder than telling people I, my show is called Michael Sarah my channel's called Michael Sarah mm-hmm. I'm like why the fuck did you name it Michael Sarah and then next thing you know people are talking about Michael Sarah yeah. I went to New Orleans um, and. Um, and and uh, asked to be on a show uh, mm-hmm. like a, this was like three like a month ago yeah. there was a show going on I just asked I was like can I go up and they're like oh sure yeah and then I did the show and then afterwards the the head the guy who headlined came up to me and like uh, and we introduced him he goes you don't you do the Michael Sarah the comedy show 
I'm like, how the fuck yeah, do you know what that the, is? Yeah. It's like, I, I have friends in New York that were on your show, mm-hmm. and uh, the name was just weird enough that yeah. it was like, that's just, dope. It's a lot in good There's feeling, a lot right? in name. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I was like, all right, branding. Yeah. yeah. My, my genius in branding is stealing someone else's success. As, yeah. Plastering it online. It's, it's yeah. weird when you go to places and then they recognize you for that mm-hmm. thing that you th- don't think anybody's watching. You, you've you know? done that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. What's people, what? people like ah, I, I, I don't know. They sometimes they'll say, "Oh, you're you're the hardest working comic in New York." I was like, "What? What? <laughs> so you're, you're Jimmy P?" I was like, "Well, what is? Like, I heard Says you. Who? Uh, yeah, it's like I heard that you. We should come to your three o'clock open mic. First of all, wow. stop right there. It's like you're the first open mic of the day. You're the podcast getting boycotted. <laughs> yeah, <way>. you're, <laughs> you're like, I was, let's just say some weird stuff. Is like, there no party that's like, how about funniest? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. No, you work really hard. You're a this really guy nice guy. This guy, like this guy, he really tries. He <laughs> really does. You, you're the hardest working out as comic. <laughs> <laughs> you are the comic you're the healthiest comic. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> motherfuckers. Uh, well, bye. Yeah, so they'll, they'll say some stuff like, "All right, you say so." <laughs> but yeah, that's where you can find me, Michael Sarah Comedy. Yeah, right. that's all. Good job. Proud of you. Sweet, man. Proud of you. Uh, uh, my show is uh, Bill Cosby Comedy. <laughs> <laughs> you joke. That's hilarious. <laughs> I, would, I, would, I would go. I would, I would. <laughs> Just like name it the Cosby, the Cosby Show. <laughs> the Cosby Experience. <laughs> Cosby <laughs> Late Night. Cosby, <laughs> Cosby After Dark. You just keep going. Yeah. That's fucked up. I hate that I'm contributing to this, but it's fucking a lot. It sounds like your ballpark. Yeah, I would do I don't it. Know why you hate that? Oh, man. Uh, I, hear he's going, I think he's coming back into comedy. He is, is going to. He's not going anywhere until he dies. Yeah, he's, he's wow. gonna, That's great. He's got enough for it's, it's fucked up that and yeah. Louis's not going anywhere either. Yeah. That's you know? incredible. Louis's got to. I wonder. I wonder how long he'll hibernate. At least a year. Yeah. Hey, Louis? Yeah. A year. Yeah. You're saying Louis or Louis? Louis. Louis. Oh. I still want to see his movies, so yeah. you know. I'll be first in line to see stuff. a show. Um, I don't know. I, I think. Uh, I want to see. Side note, I, I would love to see. I would love to see him somehow. Own this, incorporate yeah. it, turn it into something Own great. It. And he could. He, he could. could. He, he could. could. He could because he's not so far yeah. beyond the pale yeah. that he's it's, not unredeemable. It's not yeah. unredeemable. It ain't great. Yeah. Right. <laughs> he, he, could but not, he could do it in his first ten minutes. He could. You know? he, and he, then, he could, and he and he could turn it around and be like, yeah. and be like, this. Or these he, are all the things I'm gonna do yeah. as a person. These are the philanthropic things I'm gonna do to make up for it. I'm gonna be transparent about why I'm doing it. Like my, uh, yeah. did you did you see um, what was that show? Uh, uh, Sons of Anarchy. No, he reminds me of. Did you see it? Sunday? There was a guy who jerked off. He, he he had he had to jerk off all the time, and the bikers were like, "We're gonna cut your fucking fingers off if you keep jerking off. We like you around, but." So they cut off his fingers so he couldn't jerk off. Holy shit! Right, and I feel like that's what he had. He like he had to jerk off. He was like, I was going through a thing at the time, and, and, and my, I, I, I feel like he's that kind of person that he need. I don't know if he's that I think anymore. It was, I, I, I think it was, I don't, I don't know. I didn't read the, you know. I, I, I read a bunch about it. I've had like numerous conversations about it, and like with like, and, and uh, with a lot of women about it too. And the one thing that really came through yeah. was a conversation or an argument I completely lost, mm-hmm. which was I was trying to say don't. Don't call him a predator because that puts him in the same category as rapists, murderers, and child molesters. I don't yeah. think we should do that. Yeah. I don't think I don't think predator fits. Mm-hmm. And uh, this girl, Swedish girl, she she was like, no, it 100% fits. That's definition of of, of predator. Yeah. And I was like, no, it's not. Let's look it up. And uh, the girl from another country was totally right about my first language. And uh, the definition of predator is that you are systematic and you plan it out. You're premeditated. That's how predators work. You can assault somebody in the heat. Of passion and hurt them and you're not a predator but if you plan it out and you make it so that people get into fights with you all the time and and uh, and then then you're a predator and i went fuck <laughs> i can't spend it any in any way um so it's not that i really wanted to i just was like hoping to differentiate between that group and him but I, yeah. well i mean no. it's still there I, i'm biting my tongue a little on that i, say, I don't say, i wouldn't say, say that say 
the predator is such a it's a you have predator to, has a, a powerful connotation and uh, but the denotation fits 100 percent. that's what the word means that what he he systematically he sy- yes he systematically chose uh, he planned it out, and he systematically chose people who were in a weaker position than him who um, to do the uncomfortable thing that he wanted to do. Um, it, it, uh, whether over the phone or in person, multiple instances over a long period of time. He could have gone to a strip club. He could have gotten a prostitute. He could have done all kinds of things to do this, but instead he specifically chose that. And he did it multiple times. I hate that I'm saying this. Ugh. Alright. So so my show is the Louis C. K. apology. Just have, just have different experiences. Yeah. The Louis C. K. experience. Next week we'll be back with the Weinstein uh, yeah. experience. We have we have someone's boss call <laughs> call her and then act like they're he's masturbating over the Jesus phone. It's uh, nice. yeah, it's a great show. Um <laughs> <laughs> if your show was predators calling in, and then you kind of defending predators every week, wouldn't that be? Interesting? In, in, I need to be uh, clear. I I'm not defending. <laughs> I'm actually saying he is one, and so I, I'm I, a non-defender. You know, you support... He's a low-level predator. You know? <laughs> he's, uh-huh. he's he. You know, there's there 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 are fucking like black panthers <laughs> that, that stalk their prey, and then there's like Garfields that masturbate. You know. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'll take that. I Garfield, Garfield the predator. The predator world. <laughs> sad, <laughs> sad, <laughs> self He's still cuddly. Yeah. What do you know? Yeah. Yeah. I might, I might. yeah. <laughs> um, God, and technically, Garfield is a comic. So yeah, Garfield's hey. like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. So your show name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, 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 have, I have three primary projects. Uh, yeah. um, one of them is Late Night Romp. You can go to latenightromp.com within just a few days, and yeah, nice. it, the, the website will be live. Right now, it's just on Facebook, late night, facebook.com forward slash late night romp. That is my weekly show that I co produce with Teresa Sheffield. Yeah. That is at the V Spot back room on St. Mark's. It's every Tuesday. From nine thirty until eleven, and it is and he, Jimmy Peoples has been on it. Yes, nice. awesome show. Yes, it's Great fun. Show. It's fun. Uh, we uh, bark in people, pay a yeah. barker, and we bark in people. And yeah. sometimes it's pretty full. Yeah. Sometimes it's not. It's full. Dude. It, Great. Yeah, yours with that. Yours was full. It's yeah. fun. Tell, I mean, it's because of me, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because people knew Jimmy was coming, <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, "We want to see a comedian work hard." <laughs> <laughs> The, the fittest, hardest working. Oh, jeez. That's how you're introduced, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's, that's my first project. Uh, the second project I have is Let's Talk About Sets, S-E-T-S. Yeah. It is about the science and craft of stand-up comedy. Mm-hmm. I say that with slightly tongue-in-cheek. It's hard to make it a science. I am a fan. Yeah, thank you. Mm-hmm. For, yes, I'm yeah. glad you are. It's it's uh, uh, It's been very rewarding. People like it. Very good. Um, and... That is, I release that every other week. I put about 20 hours per episode into wow. producing each one. I edit the hell out of them. It is structured. Does, it does, it's very, does one very specific thing, which is play live material, analyze it according to a theme. So, and then the last thing, I, last project I have is a monthly, that is the second Friday of every month, and it is called Special Tonight. I co-produced that with Patrick Colbert. It is a dinner slash comedy show. Cool. We hire the best, l- highest level comedians we can, so that I am the absolute worst comedian on the show, if possible. I want to be embarrassingly worse than them, <laughs> yeah, um, and I am able to do it consistently. Nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, and like, it's not hard to do. No, <laughs> I know. No, it comes naturally. It comes naturally. Uh, and. Uh, <laughs> And you're the least hardest working yeah, comedian right, in right. the city. <laughs> People love to see me phone it in. That's uh, that's why. And um, it's we usually have a packed house. That one is at uh, the Mockingbird, yes. and you can get tickets online. It's ten dollars. All you can eat tacos included. Wow. And for ten dollars, all you can eat tacos, and they're good. It's Tex-Mex restaurant. Wow. Uh huh. It's really good. And we had like 
Joe List last time, mm-hmm. Mike Racine last yeah. time, like Great. really good yeah. names. And it's a second Friday of every month. It goes from seven to eight is dinner. So it's social, social, bring your friends, have fun. Then eight to nine thirty is the show. It's at the Mockingbird. Go to special dash tonight.com. Again, that's special dash tonight.com. So the all you can eat is just for an hour. It's, it's, it's it actually goes through the whole thing. Okay. They replenish so through they the whole keep thing. Those tacos, uh huh. They do. They, they do. Come. And then I'm like, hey, I'm at a hundred tacos. <laughs> you, you're, like, you're like, it smells like vomit in the, in the toilet. To... And, and Jimmy has gone to the toilet twelve times <laughs> to make a point. <laughs> no, but it makes sure I break you. Right? If you say all you can eat, yeah. we'll see. So that one last thing I'll say about that is, it's ten dollars online. Yeah. Uh, it's fifteen dollars at the door. So uh, we only make any money at all. <laughs> so please wait until the last minute. Show up on the day of. <laughs> it. But it's uh, uh, but or make us feel better by knowing there are people coming. Sign up online. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, I win. Guys. <laughs> nice. Okay. Cool. Um, uh, it's so much easier talking to nobody with more people. So appreciate you guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wait, what are you talking about? What are you so the, the, doing the podcast. If it was just me sitting here, it's so hard. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. You would do and this then, come rain or shine. Yeah. Like, I mean, I was here talking until oh, so Peter comes. Sweet. And then what's up? And then uh, and then yeah, it's it's sad. And then you walk in, then you, you do stuff. So thank you for saving this uh, for the day. Um, this is fun, man. Cool. I'm glad it worked out. Very good. Thanks, thank Jimmy. Absolutely.